It's about Mr. Climbing on top of you, doing his business. Somebody said, let our shy kissers live. Ne niece, listen, I need you to lick me all in my mouth because I'm licking you all in That's your right, mouth. Like I'm dog. licking your tongue. I'm licking your lips. <laughs> Bitch, pass it to me. Pass it. Give it transferring. I need that. Transfer me that. I'm a kisser. Girl, I don't have these lips for no reason. Bitch, not, who? Transfer that into me. Into me. <laughs> into me. <laughs> okay. And so that relationship in 2005, I want to make sure Shell is on the same page. Wait, somebody said spitting in the mouth. No. Oh, you said transfer. No, kissing. No, but you said transfer. No, I'm you not. Said you, transfer I'm, no. All, you said transfer it all into me. Into me, correct. So that's, you're, part, that's part you're, of transfer. I, I need you to understand what's not going to happen. This, this, this is my head. You're not gonna do my head back like this. <laughs> and speak, you're not doing that. That is a domination spell. Well, you don't have to do it like that. You just kind of gather a little spit in your mouth and you push it in there. That mouth might with be the tongue. case, but what he's talking about is that that sweetheart is a domination spell. <laughs> read your books and Af read your African folklore books. I don't have any African. Well, folklore. yes, you do. No, I don't. Doing this <laughs> and then pulling. Putting that head all the way back like this and saying, uh, that is a spell of domination. Now, I will spit on your booty hole. Well, that's all spell of domination, too. But, but you women out there who have had those, those men and you can't understand why you can't shake that man, he has cast an evil spell on you. He has done that to you, ladies. And you think, oh, he's so old. Have you he's... cast an evil spell on anybody before? No. Really, man? I don't like spit. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm not talking about just spit. I'm talking about any type of spill. Urine, man. <laughs> it's darker when it goes to urine. <laughs> <laughs> Read your folklore books, Mo. Oh my god. <laughs> So back in 2000, girl, if this man that I was just talking to last y'all sitting over there letting these men pee in y'all and stuff, those are evil, those are Wait, wicked spells. Pee in you? Yes. Not on you, you say in. Inside. Those are wicked, wicked, wicked spells. After he doesn't come, put, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> wicked spells. So you shouldn't, stay, you shouldn't let him stay for round two? That's a wicked, 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 unseparable Okay, Mo. <laughs> I'm just asking. All right. I'm curious. I'm curious. When you eat that lady pussy, she's put a little pee in your throat. The God forbid. You gone. God Mo, forbid. Mo, you eat pussy? Yes. He How gone. do you know? I, I, I want to know. I want to hear him say it. Mo, you eat pussy? Yes. <laughs> they doing a lot of giggling. Mo. I mean, yeah, I do. I do. When that I, little pee get in your... Go down there, she's like, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good at, good at it? Honestly, I've never had any complaints. I don't like to brag on, on myself, but I do. I, I you know, women don't always like to tell a man. No, no, you, I, they yeah. don't have to tell me nothing. Yes, Your body language says it all. Okay, I've faked a lot of body languages too. Nah, I've laid back and said, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. There's no faking. There's no faking. Not with you. Not with me. All right. Not with me. Well, sometimes <laughs> in Africa, you know, you ever see that movie? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in Africa. <laughs> so do many times. <laughs> said it once forever. Said I love would always be true. Do, do. Something in my heart. Always knew. I'd be lying here beside you. you. On my own. Do, 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 do. Can I get that picture I asked you to put up there, please, while we're singing this? That, come up, come up. Hit it. <laughs> Great, she giving Patty LaBelle in this picture. Patty, open your eyes. Oh, God. Great, she, she giving Patty LaBelle in that hair. Girl, she giving Patty LaBelle. And I believe. Come get some of this Patty Pie, Patty, bitch. look at the screen. Come get, she saw it. Come get, come get some of this patty pie milk. Come get some of this patty pie milk. Craig, leave Miss Netta alone. I don't know what it is. Girl, the way them toes are on that vinyl floor. I, first of all, let me do my due, my due diligence. 
Congratulations to Charles and Netta. They have bought a home. Put that back up. Oh, since oh you, you want it back up? Okay, yes, sorry. Since Craig, you can't, you can't tell them now without building them up. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Is that the new house? No, yeah. that's that's where they met the realtor at. I don't know yeah. if that's the new house or whatever, but congratulations on Charles and Netta. They have just purchased their new home here in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. congrats. I'm very I'm very happy. One thing I like about the L, the Lubiquita community, because she did. She, she did. She did say she's, she's a, the G. She, she's the <laughs> She's the G. What is the G? <coughs> Gay. Okay. Oh, I thought you was talking about like she was the the real G. Yeah, the real G. I, I heard that too. <laughs> no, said she's a part of the Lebicula community. She's a part of the Lebicula. She's a part of the Lebicula. I was looking at Maddie. I was like, I didn't say she's a G. I said oh. she's the G. She's oh. a part of the Lebicula community. <laughs> She may be a G when she's not wearing this garb. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when she got on her Russell sweatsuit and her high top tennis. She might be the G. I con G. congratulations to Miss Netta and Charles <gasps> for getting their home. I one thing about it, I love to see my girls in the community get their get that's their right. things. Like home ownership is a is a key to wealth building. That's right. And that's why Craig owns his home mm -hmm. and I own my two. And <laughs> <laughs> I like how you you put that uh, in there. No, because Craig is going to acquire another home. That's right. And so am I. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, so what I was saying was... Now, can we get off of Miss Nelda, Yes, please? we can. Okay. Bro. So back in 2005, I ended a relationship. We had a lot of firsts. The first guy I traveled with out of the country, all of the things, right? Oh, my God. And after that relationship ended, because I had never experienced that kind of heartache, even though I ended it, you, there's still that residual uh, effects of that breakup. Well, I developed a pattern, and I had friends over yesterday, we had this barbecue, and we get into these really deep conversations, and I said to them, I said, one of the things that I, because I'm very honest with myself, I'm a Taurus. One of the best parts of life is when you can admit the truth to yourself, uh -huh. about yourself. Okay. And I'm really clear that After that relationship, because that pain was so deep for me, I de developed a pattern where I dated guys that I knew would never commit. No, well, that commit. I'm coming to that. Submit. But I knew I always dated guys that for a long time. I dated guys that I knew I wouldn't fall for. I knew that they would be into me, but I wouldn't necessarily be into them. And that's just a transparent moment. Well, just, just like honest. just like now, I'm in a state of of uh, of of renaissance. Yeah, I'm going through a renaissance era. It's it, it growing into this age now, uh -huh. and I'm 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 putting things like I know I created the vision board for all the things that I have now. Like uh -huh. if I open up my vision board right now and you look at it, you'll be like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Bucking, bucking like a mechanical boot. Okay, that's the wrong thing. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. But you'll be like, whoa. And to see that much, that 99.9999% of the things that I put on that board manifested. has manifested. Yeah. And this has been over the over the course of time. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to start. Well, I've already, I'm in the process of beginning to create me a personal life board. Yeah. Because I did a business. Yeah, life. yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm creating a personal. And on this personal life board, I'm thinking in my head, I'm sitting 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 here planning I planning all the thoughts and saying to myself T.S. Madison you are a, a successful black transgender woman mm -hmm. and this is what this is who and what you're going to be until the hereafter mm -hmm. and that's just what it's going to be yeah. now while you're here these are the things that you've already done in your personal life with with gentlemen and these are the things that you don't want to ever do again uh-huh okay and here's the things that you have to look at with who you are, what you are, where you are in your life, that mm -hmm. needs to be on that side of the board. Mm -hmm. And on that side of the board, I need to be able to, 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 to check off, like, I have some real life conversations with myself. Like, you had a real life conversation with yourself. Real life conversation. Maddie, 99.9% .9 of the men that are attracted to you are heterosexual. Mm -hmm. They identify as heterosexual. Mm -hmm. They, mm -hmm. I, again, let me say this so anybody get down there and start talking mm -hmm. about, well, mm -hmm. he ain't he. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't change anybody's identity of themselves. Right. How they so see themselves. 99.999% yeah. of the gentlemen that are attracted to me and that I am attracted to identify as <laughs> heterosexual. This is their personal identi identity. Uh -huh. They identify as heterosexual. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, men who have a heterosexual identity mm -hmm. 
identity are going to play in the coochie box. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing that you could that you're not gonna ever be able to get out of that. And I and here's the thing about it. I also put over there in a four, in the box in the far right corner. Uh huh. Do I really want them to give that up? Because it's wait. Like, do you want them to give up what? Playing in the kitty box. Okay. Women. Yeah, yeah. When we talked to them, we were Do I ever want them to give that up? Because it's just like, I don't want no man to be attracted to me as no fucking man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, these are all the conversations. Right, right. So, in other words, you're not interested in dating a gay man because gay men are interested in other men. You want a man who's attracted to women. I always attract men who are attracted right. to women because mm -hmm. that's the presentation. You understand, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Right. And if if I get over here into this into this space, and you know, but I write all of this stuff down. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I have to, because here's the thing: the Bible says, write it down, make it plain. Listen, Habakkuk two and two, write it down, make it plain. So when you write it down, you're able to look at it, because mm -hmm. talking about it is a. But when you when you're able to look at There's it, there's power like, in writing those words down. And then you see it with your eyes, and you say, you know what? This doesn't coincide with this. Mm -hmm. So maybe I need to move this around in this way, you know, just to try it. Yes. So I've I've sat and I've said that, you know, Madison. You are always going to date me, and you're always going to encounter me. You're always going to run into me. You're going to always have men that are heterosexual identified from the top. Mm -hmm. And coming along with that, men, men are whoremongers, period. Mm -hmm. But are you going to share your partner with a woman, with another woman? Are you going to do that? Because do you really want his desires for a woman to cease and desist because then what like these are all the uh-huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these are the thoughts mm -hmm. but you but when you i but my first map out was my my first map out was mm -hmm. t.s madison you are going to be t.s madison until the day you will die and then thereafter Mm -hmm. So what you need to talk about is what what you're going to allow T.S. Madison to have right. first. Mm -hmm. You're not finna deal with no motherfucking nigga that don't understand the value of which of, of that you possess in your in, in your being. Yeah. Right. Because see, I, and I gotta come. He back can't to be a he. If you're not tangible, he can't be tangible. Mm -hmm. He can't be, you can't just walk up there. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your, your, you need an infrastructure where your shit is protected. If he can't be the, he can't be the leak. The call can't come from the inside. Right. And, uh, and lots of, lots of times out of being successful people, sometimes, lots of times the call come from the inside. Personal leaks. <laughs> The breaking up of the it comes from the inside. Yeah, somebody that's on your team or working close it be to the your same, family. Yeah, and so it, and sometimes this happens with the with the person you laying in the motherfucking bed with. Mm -hmm. I sit and I watch so many of those stories on the on the Oxygen Show or the E the E Show. All mm -hmm. these murders happen with these people that these people have loved, trusted, mm -hmm. built lives and families. We got whole million, three million. Dollar mm -hmm. insurance mm -hmm. policy, and this person is laying next to them in the bed, bitch, ready to slit their fucking throat. Yeah. Ready to slit their throat. So it the call comes from the inside. So like for me, it was understanding that yeah. I was getting with guys that I knew. I would never really fall for because they didn't really they didn't really possess the things that I needed, right? But then there was a phase in my life where I was dating guys that I knew were so severely closeted that they would never that the goal would never be a relationship. So that was a way of protecting myself too because I knew that that was only going to go but so far. Because he's closeted, he's not looking for a relationship with a guy, he doesn't really think that he's gay. So there was a phase in my life that I did that too, that I did that dance, and then I had to stop it. But then one of the things that I think about as I talk about wanting a long-term relationship and that kind of thing, here's the, here's, here's, what I'm, here's, here's the truth. 
I've never had a relationship that's lasted longer than about three years. And I don't know too many black gay men who have. I do have a few that I know. But I don't know very many who have. And the point of me saying that is I sometimes wonder, as much as I stand on that soapbox and talk about, oh, I'm monogamous and, oh, I want a long-term relationship and this, that, and the third. Do you really want it? I don't know if I could... I, I, my question is because I, I mean the, the the question that I have for myself is you've never had a five year seven year ten year relationship. You don't even know if you're you're going to be able to breathe at that altitude because you've never gotten there. Are you even going to be able to breathe? And so when we talk about when I talk about let me make it personal when I talk about these couples that are in relationships and they've been there for a long time and they start being open. And they start acting like they don't see what's going on or are they overlooking infidelity after infidelity after infidelity. Maybe that's what you start. Maybe the air becomes so thin up there that you do need other options. I know what I don't want. And I don't want an, I don't want an open relationship. I don't either. I don't. I Because I, I said, and we didn't get an opportunity to talk about this, but do we still have this footage? Which footage? The Real Housewife of... The, what is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Can we play I this? Might have deleted okay, it. put it back. While he's looking for that, I had a friend who said to me, again, I had this barbecue yesterday, and I had a friend who said to me, he said, Craig, the only reason I'm monogamous, the only reason I'm monogamous is because I can't handle with somebody else, somebody else doing what I'd be out there doing. He said, that's the only reason I'm monogamous. And that was some real shit when he said that. He said, but otherwise, he said, I want to be able to do what I want to do and they be monogamous. Well, maybe if he told that to, to the person. Yeah, because I, maybe. Because, I, you know, I believe that whatever you're looking for is also but, looking for you. Right. Maybe if you told that to the person up front that, you know what I'm saying, you don't want, you, you know, and there might be somebody that may go for that. Mm -hmm. That, you know. I, I, I'm gonna meet you where you at, type bitch. <clears throat> bitch, you sucking dick three days out the week. I'm sucking dick six, and on the seventh I shall rest, and the seventh shall be your day. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, oh you not going That's why I'm at with it. With like, I'm not finna be. We ain't finna be doing this. It's a lot of you. It's a lot of people out there in the world that's being true to a motherfucker that's out there slanging dick from slanging dick or slanging pussy out of both sides of their pants leg, and and and. and coming home, putting their whole relationship at risk while they're in there scrambling eggs and frying chicken. Babe, you hungry? Nigga, that nigga done ate at everybody else's house before he got home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bitch, is you crazy? Right. Nah, bitch, you better be out there frying eggs and frying chicken for them other niggas that's sitting you up. You done put your whole life on hold and this man out here got that, putting that dick everywhere.